Five years ago, the US economy collapsed. And you might not think that affects measurement, but actually it does. Here's why. When we look at our data, we always have to look at seasonally adjusted data. It account for the fact we all go shopping at Christmas, things like that. The problem is the statistical techniques that we use can't tell whether what happened five years ago was because of a seasonal factor or because the economy crashed. And as a result, every 12 months after that initial crash, we became a whole lot more uncertain about where the economy was going. So the way we, we typically deal with this seasonal adjustment is if we want to know, for instance, what normally happens in December, we look at what happened in the past few Decembers. And so the past continues to echo through to the present as we use that, the past Decembers to try and interpret the current Decembers. Now it turns out that the way that the Bureau of Labor Statistics actually does this is somewhat imperfect. You might think if you wanted to know what the December effect was, you'd look back at the last 10 Decembers. Effectively, they just look back at the last three Decembers. And so that means that too often they see things changing and the seasonal factors that they're, that they're giving us aren't exactly right. The implication of that is our macroeconomic data are a lot noisier than they should be. And so if you use the statistical techniques developed by these authors, you can in fact get a sharper reading of what's happening in the economy. You're less likely to be thrown off by statistical noise, and instead you'll see the underlying pulse of the economy not distorted by the ups and downs of seasonality.